Welcome to the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and joining me today is Totera. Hey, Norman, I have a question for you. Do you ever wonder who makes these Pokeballs and supplies it to everyone? It's the man. What man? They create the Pokeballs to catch all those Pokemans and sell them off to the highest bidders. Still makes me wonder, though, who ma- who? what kind of sick freak would make these things? A sick freak? Freak like game freaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'd make Silver so proud. I know. Uh, but anywho, um, we, we're not talking about Pokemon's, <laughs> but uh, in today's episode, we are going to review uh, season one, episode 13 of Pony Life, uh, Potion Mystery and Sick Days. In Potion Mysteries, Twilight Sparkle and her friends try to solve. The mystery of where Pinkie Pie's magical potions come from. And in six days, the main six battle quickly spreading battles quickly spreading sickness. That's how you say it? Really? Okay, I guess. <laughs> a while trying to fill a cupcake order for Princess Celestia. So before we head in, uh, first impressions are in order and Terra, what do you think? I actually like this. <laughs> Surprisingly. Mm, really no. I like how okay. I mean again it is a bit of uh I, I I know I keep going off about how, you know, I wish they had more time to, you know, do this, like the story wise and whatnot. But for what it is, you know, I, I still like it. Like they bring up a good point on, you know, um who where do we keep getting these potions from? It's like, huh, never did th- thought of that. And then sick days, you know, it's it it was just hilarious. <laughs> Okay. Especially with what yes. we're going through right now, it yeah, it's a bit it's a bit close to home. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, but okay. So if you guys at home have not watched this yet, no, I haven't. Uh, say my piece. Okay. Um. Uh Last week you were away for a bit just because you're busy and stuff. So I'm not going to bring it up. But uh, I tried and did a solo review. I'm not hundred percent sure if I ace it or not but i did got a i won't say complain but feedback from one of the patreons they mentioned that they know that i dislike pony life so it's not gonna be much of a surprise or how do i put this um it's not gonna be much of a surprise or um a tell that i'm gonna enjoy it or not it was it's one of those things so, I'm not saying that I am disappointed or I hate this episode. I, how do I put this? I kind of enjoyed this episode. Honestly, it was pretty entertaining. Uh, with Potion Mystery, it's one of those cases where, uh, yes, the main six, or not, really, not even the main six, like the ponies just want to know, find out who is just supplying these potions to them? And the answer might surprise everyone, including me. And in sick days, oh boy, that's just too <laughs> that's just too close to home. So anyway, if you guys have not watched this episode yet, pause here. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the episode. So let's start off with uh, our heroes in Sugar Q Corner just messing around with the potions. Um, Rainbow Dash drinks a potion to go fast, really, really fast. Very much go sonic speed, pun intended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and Fluttershy drinks a potion that makes her neck really, really long. Ooh. Uh, and then, well, the, the ponies just hang out and play with potions. Like, Pinkie Pie's a balloon, Twilight Sparkle is a disco ball. And Twilight just asks Pinkie, uh, where do you? Where, when is the next shipment of the potions coming in? And Pinkie Pie is just confused and just says, "Wait, I thought you were the pony that ordered the potions." So they start to wonder, like, who made this potions? Because we got no idea where they came from. We got no idea who put them in the fridge, and. They decide to, you know what, let's try and find out who makes them. And in between, we get 
Spike doing a CSI Miami meme. Yay. And <coughs> we move on to the next scene. And we see that the ponies here wants to solve the case of who stuffed these potions in the fridge. So they decide to camp out for a bit. And well, the potions are there the next morning. So they decide not to sleep. <laughs> well, they can they sleep and potions are in there. And I'm just going to pause here. Tara, what do you think? I really liked where this was going. I, at first, like, it's one of those things where it's like you had me and then you lost me and then you had me again and then you lost me. <laughs> because, <laughs> like, right now they had me because, like, okay, they're drinking all these potions, you know, interesting. Still don't know why they uh, have a potion addiction. What, what do you call it? It can't be alcoholic. Uh, potionholic, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> They drink all these potions, and then it's like, wait, where do we get all these potions? It's like, wait, I thought you ordered them. No, I thought you ordered them. It's like, it's a mystery. A potion mystery. Yeah, and even Twilight mentioned that she tried to replicate the potions and failed miserably. So, uh, it means that the potions here are made from someone that's really, really good. And you know what? Before we carry on, uh, no, you know what? That's kind of a spoiler. So uh, anyway, I'm just gonna. Uh, you done, Tara? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Okay. So anyway, um, let's carry on because we're almost near the end. So Twilight's plans keeps failing and whatnot. Even they even set up a video camera and we know not to guard the entrance or to the fridge. So their last plan is to kind of stay up and not sleep and hang a bell around Twilight's horn. Well, not really a, around her horn, but a tie rope system that has bells and whenever she nods, the bell rings. So yeah, that's pretty elaborate, pretty elaborate. Then we see some kind of creature um, jumping around, walking around, uh, creating some sparkly lights and making things grow wherever she goes. She sprouts mushrooms and fauna and flora. Uh, she kind of develops her magic with her hooves. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, sounds about right. So, yeah. Uh, she stomps her hoof and puts a blanket around the main the, the ponies and somehow winks and fills up the fridge and episode ends. So it's not a So okay, um the, the say pony is an alicorn by the way. Like what? Makes me by the way, did she did this pony appear in uh, any previous episode? <laughs> No, this is her first appearance. And I, if I'm not mistaken, her name is Potion Nova? I don't know. Because that's what I saw in the... Uh, what you call this? Mm, uh, uh, the credits, yes. That's what I saw in the credits. So, she is a new character, an OC for... The series, uh, well, we, we had uh, the original characters before, but this one, yeah, this one is uh, kind of new, which is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Why is she an alicorn? I don't know, but it would be the first time that, you know, someone was an alicorn by mistake, because I know back then in previous episodes, there'd be a little, I don't know if it was an animation error or something, but there'll be times where Rarity's an alicorn, because she has wings, or someone else has a, a, a horn all of a sudden, it's like, what? Ah, yes, that's, that's true, that's true. And you know what? Uh, looking at the list on EQD, not EQD, the wiki page, uh, they list her down as a mysterious unicorn and they show her picture and she has no wings. But in said episode, she has wings. So this could be one of those cases where it's an animation error or... She's hiding her true form. 
Hmm. We may never know. Uh probably the future because it's because I see her hanging out in Shikibu Corner. Whatever. <clears throat> So yeah, uh, the the thing about this one when I was talking about it, like I, I thought that Zakura was supplying all the potions and whatnot, because Zakura seems to be the potion pony. Mm. Makes sense, right? Yeah, but now it's like she doesn't even exist here. Yeah, and that's the ridiculous part because you could have gone and used. Zakura as your what you call this uh pony for the potions and you can have her in the episode and whatnot and you can have fun with her rhyming and whatnot and put an orange then she has to break the rhyme and whatnot. So wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> but anyway, um let's move on to the next episode or next uh, segment and s- next one is sick days so in sick days uh, we see our lead heroes hanging out in Shugaku corner and Pinky has a bunch of orders to fulfill because Princess Celestia is going is, is ordering cupcakes from Shugaku corner for her party was it? Uh, I think it was for her birthday like her birthday party. Uh, probably. I, I don't think so. It's birthday. But I feel like it's some sort of event. But let's just go for birthday party. Yeah. Let's go for that. So anyway. um, she, Pinky has orders to fulfill. But somehow she got a cold. And needs to take rest. So. The rest of the girls here. Like we got. Rarity, Applejack, and Rainbow Dash available and well. Uh, Twilight and Fluttershy are both down with the flu and they can't help even if they want to. So Rarity tells Pinky to head to bed and rest up because, well, she is not feeling well and you do not want to infect your customer with infected k- uh, cupcakes so no 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 so they send Pinky to bed and Pinky tells the group okay here's ha- here's the instruction of how to decipher my tomb of knowledge and yeah y- good luck guys I'm going to bed so Rarity says oh how hard can this be is this only baking cakes and whatnot?" so she sanitizes her hands or her hooves and Applejack sneezes and it seems that Applejack is coming down with the sickness too so Rarity sends her back to Sweet Apple Acres to get some rest and they start uh, making cupcakes and I'm gonna pause here for a bit so Tara what do you think about the setup well the setup was pretty hilarious like when I when I first saw it and then Piggy starts co- uh, coughing, uh, not coughing, I guess she was doing both. And all of a sudden, everyone's like, you're getting sick, Pinky. And then Applejack's like, quarantine yourself. I had to pause the video, I'm like, what? And then I started laughing, it's like, did I really just hear that? It's so <laughs> yeah. late, like, it's like, oh, because it's what we're going through right now, it's so relatable. Yeah, I... I know. And then they this, talk about being distant the... and putting the hand sanitizer on, or in this case, hoof sanitizer. Mm. This this is one of those cases where okay, um, I can understand if this is soft park because the turnout ratio for soft park episode is really fast. They can be they can be very topical in a about what two a week or two weeks because of how their animation works. Pony Life, on the other hand, this was... Okay, in Canada, the episode was released in August 2nd of 2020. Uh, The pandemic hit us really hard around March of 2020. Am I right? 
I think so. Uh, that that we know of because I remember having really hear people talking about it and mass sales going really high up was around March of 2020 because I was still able to go on the holiday in February. Hmm. So yeah, I mean yeah. So the, the, I think it was like near the end of February, close to the beginning of March. I think that's when it happened. That did it, that it hit hard like. Yeah. Uh, officially, it hit China in November. So, depending on where you are, the pandemic really hit hard. It's not a me problem. It's us. It's an us problem. So yeah. anyway, um, yes, like I was mentioning, this release really close, like really, really close to, uh, us and the pony here. <laughs> uh, it's not even funny. <laughs> But it is. I don't know why. <laughs> so, what, anything more to add, Tara? No, it's pretty much everything. Alrighty then. So then I'm going to carry on. So we see that Pinkie Pie is in bed, delirious, and worried about her order, tries to get the girl's attention by, oh, you need to do this, you need to do that, and whatnot. And the girls just better her in her room but before that they failed to create the cupcakes like they didn't really follow Pinkie Pie's instruction and instead doing their own thing they got a phone call from Princess Celestia saying that she's coming early to pick her cupcakes up oh no the girls the girls are screwed so they decide to open up her uh, what you might call this tomb of knowledge and it seems that, hey, there's a hologram of Pinkie Pie telling the girls that, yo, remember what I said when I was sick? Do the exact opposite. Do the exact opposite. Things will be great. Things will be great if you listen to me. But do the opposite. All right, bye-bye. So with that, the girls go up to the mixer and remember what Pinkie told them pull on the red lever but since hologram pinky told them to do the exact opposite they pull on the blue lever and the mixer floats and makes muffins or cupcakes on its own like wait what yeah, <laughs> Bef- I, but I have no idea how that works at least yeah, they didn't pull the wrong lever I truly <laughs> crunk pull the wrong lever <laughs> but anyway, but before they could officially react, Princess Celestia comes in having her cupcake and she's happy with the results. Yay! Awesomeness. Now, uh, once the ponies are well and healthy, they hang out and just have a good laugh. Except for Rarity, she coughs us up diamonds. And... Near the end of the episode, she vomits diamonds all over the place, and episode ends. Ah ha ha ha! Ah. So, Tara, what do you think? I I it's another thing where it's like it had me, but then lost me because it was very funny with the whole quarantine thing and Pinky being sick, and then she's like a zombie. She's like must cook, and then she's all like back to her normal self while she's sick, just explaining the instructions. It's like oh okay, and then. Like, again, you know, short time or whatever. It's just, oh, I flicked the switch. All of a sudden, the blender is moving on its own and making perfect cupcakes. And it's like, what? You know what? This is one of those days, Ex Machina, where, okay, you're almost near the time limit. Ah, you know what? I don't even care anymore. Just just get it done. And yay, funds. Like, we question about the validity of magic mixers. That can just bloop out a cupcake batter and mix and just be done with it because magic. So, yay, I guess. Yeah, it's like, I don't know what else to say. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It was decent. Like, it's one of those things, yeah, we can just like watch it once. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, but anyway, uh, you done, Tara? Yep, I'm done. Alright. And as for me, uh, this o- overall, 
uh, this episode was not bad. I kind of like it. I, I do like the mystery of who is the pony that is stuffing the fridge with, um, what you call this, potions. Uh, we don't get a name, but if you check the credits, we do see a pony named uh, Nova po- po- Potion, Nova, something like that. But I think you said that. I, f- hmm? I think it was something like that. Yeah. And it's kind of a bad move on them to name the pony. They they should just have named her as Mysterious Pony until her reveal. Because that way we got no idea who she is and we are kind of invested in knowing who she is. Like we want to we we'll pay attention and try to look for her and whatnot or just wait. But uh, it's pony life and that's the that's the sad part where we don't get the build up. We we get the we, we just know who she is and whatnot. Yeah. And we got no idea if it's an animation error or not. But is she an alicorn? Is she not an alicorn? Uh what is she and how does this world even work? So for Potion Madness, was it? I think so. Was that a previous oh, episode? No, no, no. This one, this one. Why oh, did Potion I Mystery. The... Yeah, Potion Mystery. Um, yeah, we, we don't really get the mystery of Potion Mystery because they decided to tell us who her name is. But I, I guess knowing what she does and how she do it is the mystery to itself, probably. Or oh, it's like why she does it. Yeah. Like why she does it and how does she get paid and whatnot. Or is this like Star Trek where... Everybody don't really use currency and it's just one of those things where, yay, uh, the world's kind of peaceful and money is not a thing. Mm. Yeah. Then in sick days, yeah, like I mentioned before, it's hit close home. We, <laughs> the ponies, uh, sometimes I just wonder if they're just pulling out legs and just trying to make a laugh. They probably are at this point. Feels that way. But anywho, um, that's about it. Uh, I, I honestly enjoyed these two episodes. They're, they're a lot of fun. Me too. But anyway, Tara, what are we going to do for next week's episode? Well, next week's episode, we're going to be talking about the new Pokemon games coming up since yesterday, at the time of this recording, was Pokemon Day. Yay, it's going to be what? Uh, a bit late. We're about three weeks late from this episode's release. But... The game's not going to be coming out until the end of the year and also early 2022. So, yeah, we can't be really late if they're not pulling or they're not publishing it soon. <laughs> uh, boys. But anyway, uh, check it out there. We're going to have a lot of discussions on this and I, and I, already, <laughs> and I can already guess why uh, Tara would really want to talk about this one. Yes. But anywho, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, even at Twitter or YouTube under the name Tortero1324. Or if they just do a Google search, they can find me on all my platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome, awesome. Guys, go check me out. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio and like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyBlive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about the thank yous I would like to thank Lucky Knight Jeffrey Master of Lag and also Tristan thank you so much guys you are great so anyway I have been Norman Sanzo and I have been the Torterra and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the MBS show see ya bye bye so if I were to drink a potion in Sugar Cube Corner, what do you think would happen? I don't know. They, they don't even know what they're drinking when they drink the potions. It's just like, oh, let's just chug this down, see what we get. That is dangerous. 
Yeah. Like, could you just imagine uh, Fluttershy drinking a potion that makes her chaotic? Oh, that'd be very bad for everyone. <laughs> I think she already did. Oh no. Oh no.